Hello and welcome everyone. I'm heading to South Lake to see what I can find for Roosevelt Elk. I've got a couple of strategies in mind, but this one will require a little homework. This one's a tricky one. To complete the mission, I'll have to travel to South Lake and harvest three Roosevelt elk down from a ground blind. South Lake is actually one of my favorite spots to roam. Both sets of home ranges occupy its shores. Whitetail, moose, and turkey to the west, and black tails and elk to the east. It has three in-game hunting structures, but only one of them to the north is a ground blind. Hunting from the in-game blinds can be restrictive, so I'll experiment with the DLC ground blind to see if that will work instead. Strategies like this have worked on similar missions in the past, so I'll keep my fingers crossed. I love hunting Roosevelt elk because the higher level bulls have some of my favorite racks in the game. They're a tough species though, as they can bust you with windage or noise from a good distance away. I may need to bring them in, so the elk collar will be a handy tool in the loadout for this one. So I had two strategies in mind to get the job done. First, I wanted to test out the DLC ground blind on a drink zone. Second, I wanted to use the in-game blind for vanilla. If it works, the simplest strategy would certainly be the DLC, so I tackled that first. I spawned in to the High Lake Southern Outpost early in the morning and hiked east. I already have a tent and a duck blind set up by the lake, but spawning there will likely spook the nearby elk, so hiking in is my best option for glassing. There was a nice level 3, but the best one was a level 4 by my duck blind. I checked the rest of the lake and came up empty handed. So I returned to the duck blind and set up for the hunt. I then fast traveled to the Chila outpost and hiked in. and they were ready and waiting when I arrived. So I hopped into the stand and lined up a shot. Worked like a charm. He ended up in the water and floated across the cove to me. He's an orange colored gold with a nice symmetrical set of antlers. Since I wasn't using vanilla tactics, I chose to use the new 300 mag tactical rifle, and I wasn't disappointed. The shot got him in the lungs and the heart at 115 meters. I checked the hunter mate, and sure enough, hunting from the DLC blind will count. I could easily complete the mission from here, but I also wanted to try to get some out of the in-game blind for the mission as well. To begin, I needed to scout the area for need zones and elk tracks. I first checked the small pond in front of the blind for a drink zone, but sadly had no luck. While I was there, I built the blind. I now needed to check the area for feed and rest zones. It's a lot of legwork, but beats waiting in the stand all day waiting for something to stroll by. So I began my patrols. kept a sharp eye out for tracks and need zones. Since need zones will often stack multiple species, once I found a zone, I made it a point to check them each rotation. But ultimately, I never found a need zone for an elk around the stand. However, I ran into elk or their tracks from time to time, and several times the tracks went right by the stand. So I now had an idea of when to catch them. The most promising group had several bulls passing by between 12 and 13, so I headed out from the tent at 11.30 to make it to the stand ahead of them. Because I still had several more to get, I brought along the bow in hopes of getting both harvests at the same time. I made sure to use the scent eliminator in case I got a bad wind, then I simply waited. until I got a call.
I tried to call in another, but with no results. With vital blood, chances are he wasn't far. This guy is a silver level 3 at 236.8. The collar worked perfectly for me, bringing him in at 18 meters, resulting in a shot to the left lung. Okay, now on to the last one. I headed back to the tent and reset the time again. I also spotted a few tracks going by the stand between 16 and 17, so I thought I would try the same strategy again. They weren't easily as fooled. I called a bunch of times, but they didn't want to bite. After a while, I decided to try and leapfrog them in. They would call from time to time, so I knew they were still there. So I left the stand to get in close enough to attract one with a caller. Unfortunately, I almost bumped one. From there, I kept low and began to coax him back to the stand. It's a delicate process. I have to back up slowly, calling occasionally to keep him coming, but not often enough to get him so close that he spooks. Eventually, I made it back to the stand, but I wasn't sure if I had brought him back with me. I was about to give up hope of success when he walked out of the brush. He's going down. This guy is the smallest of the bunch, but no worries. He'll finish the mission for me all the same. The silver level 2 scored 165.81. The bow got him at 23 meters with a shot to both lungs. With three elk from ground blinds claimed, I completed the mission. The flexibility of the DLC blind was most effective, but it can be done both ways. Regardless, scouting ahead for clues proved to be very helpful either way. If this video was helpful or you learned something along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be adding more of these guides as I go along with my progression, so be sure to check in for more Call of the Wild content. Thanks for watching.